though with the writing so rushed, most of the characterization is left to the voice actors, and to the movie's credit, there is a murderer's row of comedians and voice talent from the era, if you can accept the fact that the denizens of Middle-earth have American accents. Orson Bean is solid as Bilbo, his fussiness comes across beautifully. Eggs and bacon, a good full pipe, my garden at twilight, cakes when he's not being bogged down with wildly stilted dialogue. I'm a quiver with anticipation. And while it's kinda hard to accept anyone other than Andy Serkis in the role anymore, I think Brother Theodore is a pretty good golem. Yeah, yeah. Nice, my precious. Is it juicy, gooey, yucky? Is it scrumptious? And Hans Conried as Thor in Oakenshield is inspired. Who better to capture a cartoonified version of the Dwarf King's indignance and greed than Captain Hook? Curses to the dragon, curses to Smog. He killed our men and stole our gold. And another Captain Hook, Cyril Richard, plays Elrond. Sadly, he passed away only a few weeks after this production aired, so this was his final role, but while it's brief, he plays it well. Yes, of course. Well, first of all, they're not troll make. They must have been stolen. Paul Freeze does a few additional voices, and Thurl Ravenscroft does some singing, and Dave does Disney fans know how I feel about that wonderful combination. As for Gandalf, you're always going to need someone with real gravitas. But this is just a made-for-TV cartoon, so I'm afraid that all we can get is John Huston! And so, tomorrow begins your greatest adventure. Yeah, Hollywood legend John Huston, the guy whose directorial debut was the Maltese freaking Falcon, the guy who played the evil creep in that movie directed by the other evil creep. And amazingly, this was not his only influence on a Tolkien adaptation, although the others were long after his death. He had a little bit of an influence on the Jackson movies. Look at some John Huston, his tree beard without the fungus looks like John Huston a bit. And one of my favorite Lord of the Rings parodies draws heavily from his work. What is it, Gandalf? It's the ring, Frodo. It must be taken and thrown into the fire in Mount Doom. Hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. 